Welcome back to EDU 90. As we head into 2020, this episode is the second half of a two-part series on 20 time-saving tips for G Suite for Education. 20 tips for 2020. See what we did there? Last time, we covered tips 1 to 10. If you missed that episode, you can find the link in the description box below. We've saved some of the best tips for last, and in this episode, we'll share our remaining 10 tips. Let's get started. These first few tips are focused on Google Classroom. Many educators recommended using the Share to Classroom Chrome extension to send web pages directly to students' Chromebooks so that everyone gets on the same page, literally. Make sure everyone has the extension installed, then go to a site and click Share to Classroom next to the address bar. Then, back in Classroom, click the name of your class, select Push to Students, and then Push. And on the topic of sharing, let's talk about sharing class codes to invite students to your class. To find your class code, go to Settings and then the General tab. You can then either copy your code and email it to students, or select Display to display the code on a projector. Here's a quick one. Did you know that you can use the Google Classroom app to randomize which students you call on in class? It's Classroom's student selector tool. It's quick, and the app is available for both Android and iOS. No jar of popsicle sticks required. With Classroom, you can also reuse rubrics, which is really useful if you repeat assignment types throughout the year. In Classroom, click on a class, then Classwork. Next, create an assignment, click Add plus Rubric, and choose Reuse Rubric to pick the one you want to repurpose. Moving on to a tip shared by Julie Milan about topics in Classroom. On your Classwork page, you can organize assignments, questions, and class materials by topic. But topics don't have to be by subject. Julie, for example, saves time by using them to organize assignments by the week. And now, on to forms. Did you know you can create quizzes in Google Forms directly from Google Classroom? To do this, go to your Classwork page, click Create, and then Quiz Assignment. Fill out the name of your quiz, any relevant instructions, and then click Assign. Chris Webb, a Montreal math teacher, raved about how autocomplete answers and quizzes in Google Forms are a huge time saver when developing quick formative assessments. Next up, when you create a new form, you can import questions from other forms you've created or for which you're an editor. Select the form or forms you want to import from, and then import some or all of the questions. And now let's talk about Google Slides. Jake Miller tweeted this one, and it's about keeping lessons on pace with the timer. Let's say you want to give students 20 minutes to work on an assignment. Adding a countdown clock and projecting it to the class can help students keep track of time. In Slides, just go to the Insert menu and then select Video. You can add the URL of the countdown clock you want to use or search YouTube for one. Our 20th and final tip comes from Alexandra Johnson, who suggests making interactive quizzes with slides. She creates links to slides with each question and answer. Wrong answers link to the right answer slide, and right answers let students go on to the next question slide, saving valuable class time. There you have it, the back half of our 20 time-saving tips to kick off 2020. Let us know what additional time-saving tips you use in your own classroom by sharing in the comments below. Be sure to check out other EDO90 episodes from the playlist, and especially our last episode with the first 10 tips for 2020. Oh, and one more tip. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next time. Watch our last episode, part one of this two-parter featuring 10 quick time-saving tips for G Suite for Education. In just a few minutes, you'll save a lot of time.